So bear with me, I'm a little sick today, so I'm not gonna uh, really explain a lot. So previously we did, so the enemy walks around and when he sees us, he can actually chase us. The rotation is uh, kind of off, so you can actually fix the rotation of the, the enemy, you can see. It's kind of snappy, so what are we going to do? Go to the character movement in the enemy. We're gonna change some um, movement, I guess. So max acceleration, we're gonna do 789. Uh, uh, brake friction, that's gonna be 1. And there should be brake deceleration, that should be 0. Uh, you can change the walk speed. I right hit the max walk speed uh, for me it's gonna 450 and then there's orientation movement yeah use the use controller desired rotation uh, but put it to minus 180 so now if we actually play and whenever he sees us oh shit so I made a little mistake so um so you have to put orientation rotation movement so just check these off i think you can just play around with them and put the rotation rate to minus 180 so it should be minus not plus so if you actually play you can see the movement is 20 times better so today we're gonna make it so he can actually attack us so first things first we're gonna go to our enemy so if you remember we created this function Right below it, we can create a custom event called the attack player. So what we need, we're gonna do a trace, or you can do line tracing, but we're gonna do a sphere trace. So sphere trace by that should be by object right here. Uh, sphere trace for object. Just click on that, and there's a lot of like. Um, stuff that I you probably don't understand because I don't uh, so we have the end point and the start point we have the radius and the object type that's basically what we will uh, need so for the start point and get uh, actors location this is uh, by the way simplified uh, you can do whatever uh, start and end points uh, for example uh, you can do like sockets and stuff so you can do like mesh and get uh, so uh, socket location and you can do uh, sockets and that's a possibility as well uh, I'm gonna show this version actually first so um, if you do sockets so let's do two sockets right so end and start point now we just need names, right? So if you click on our mesh, um, just go to browse right here, go to our skeleton. So you can see we have like bones. Right? So we want him to attack like with his arms, I guess. Um, so you have the hand left and the hand right. So you can just copy the name. So just hand L and the other one hand R, R so R and for the radius let's do like for now let's do like 50 add the object type just make a ray and it can uh, it will be the pawn and that's basically it now we can do a branch from the return value and just break our hit of uh, hit resulting is what we're gonna do we're gonna just do print string for now so so if it actually works or not and we can do a draw debug for duration now we can actually uh, need to activate the attack player you have to go to AI system, our blueprint, our behavior tree, and you can, and if you remember, we created the chase player. I named it incorrectly. So we're gonna drag from the follow player, add a simple parallel. So basically, what it's gonna do, it's gonna 
chases and attackers chase and attack you know if you remember we need a new task so create a new task I uh, remember to name it name it so BTT uh, attack player and we have to override a function called receive execute remember to finish finish execute that's super important by the way and succeed so we need two, uh, two of these nodes and it's really simple we're just gonna cast to our enemy just connect the pins and get attack player and that's basically it that's, that's all the logic that's gonna be here so compile and save it of course of course you can do everything that we did uh, in the player uh, in the attack player uh, task so we can just transfer I'm not gonna do it because it's uh, easier to do it in the enemy so now we can actually connect it so attack player uh, before I, we actually play we're gonna go back to our task and do a little delay can we do a delay delay let's do let's do 0 0.7 i think that's yeah 0 0.7 and we're gonna add into behavior tree another attack player task right here uh because sometimes it's gonna bug out and it's not gonna attack you but it's gonna chase you or something like that so we're gonna add it uh to here as well so if we actually play right now and whenever he ch Woo! Yeah, baby! you can see he's gonna generate a sphere and when he gets to us it's uh, gonna glow i guess uh, green so the green means he is uh, attacking us the red means he missed or something and you can see how the sphere is generated it's from one hand to another hand so they are not separate by the way so this is one way to generate the sphere collision the other way is get actors location and then get actors rotation we are getting the forward vector add multiply and then we're gonna right click on the b vector right here convert that into a float so now we have like uh, we can add numbers so we're gonna do like let's do 150 you can change it later and then we're gonna drag it out from the execute plus so the plus the a uh, the a pin is actors location the p pin is the multiply drag it into the end and the start is the actors location compile and save it and now if we actually play so you can see now that's quite big it generates a little differently it's like a big i don't even know what it's called uh you can change it by changing the value so you can do like 50 so you can see it's basically the same it's up to you you can do uh, sockets what is i think easier um this is uh, optional uh so after after the branch right here we're gonna do cast to third person and the object is uh hit actor so now it's gonna hit our actor so we're gonna do play mon montage uh, the mesh is the sculptor mesh so if you have attacking montages or animations uh, just plug that in if you don't then uh, oh well sucks to be you I guess you can see he actually attacks us when he reached uh, the point of attacking I guess so the green means uh, he's dealing damage the red means he's basically missing and uh, if you have the anime montage and it's do it doesn't work for some reason or it's like buggy uh, remember to put the delay in 
to deal damage to ourselves uh, we can do before playing a montage or after we can do a thing called apply point damage uh, I think there's more damages like, uh, like damage so there's point damage there's uh, regular damage we're gonna do point damage so the damage actor is hit actor the base damage that's basically you can promote that it's a variable called um, damage so we can put it to like let's do like 25 hit direction that's location hit information that's out hit event that's I think nothing damage causer hit actor damage type that's damage type and that's basically it so now what we can do is uh, compile and save that we can go back to our third person character so locate that right here so we're gonna do event point damage so this will pop up basically and we can do print string for now so just print string that and plug that into our damage so compile and save it and if we play right now and whenever he attacks you can see it's gonna do 25 damage uh, whenever he gets uh, close to us and attacks us so that's basically it for today if you enjoyed 